right, gentlemen, this fight is two five-minute rounds. If at the end of the second round the judges declare it a draw, we go to sudden victory. The winner of that round wins the fight. Good luck. I look at this fight as like a, you know, just fresh. That's the word that comes to my mind, fresh. A new beginning, you know, uh, my first step into maybe greatness. This is the first fight I came in with my head on top of my body, basically. And that's what Chael taught me. He just basically taught me how to control those emotions. And one of the things he said that emotions are fake and they're not going to really help you. But these guys, they can help you. Touch gloves. I want to set my stance. He came at me. I was moving my feet. Chael told me to just, you know, focus on moving. I was looking for counters. I was pretty much trying to pick him apart. He went for a takedown. I felt comfortable, I felt strong. You know, I knew he was gonna, I couldn't pull him down all the way, so I was trying to counter with knees. I was just moving around, I was just trying to figure out, I was like, all right, what's his weakness? What's going on here? And then he threw that, he fell, I got on top of him. I knew he was good at the ground, so I didn't want to stay there and, you know, and bang with him. It's like a fight for your life. You gotta remain calm. You gotta not let your emotion get the best of you. You make mistakes. And at the same time, you're worried about getting tired and all that. And then he got back up, wanted to keep it standing. I, I don't remember when specifically I saw it, but there was a point where he took a deep breath or whatever, and his, his hand just kept dropping. So right here, I'm trying to mix it up. I'm trying to move around a little bit, confuse him. I'm trying to create that opening, trying to look for stuff. It's around right there. That's when I noticed. His right hand was dropping. He took a deep breath and he kept his right hand down. I kind of forgot about that spinning head kick, but I knew when that 10 seconds come, two things would happen. He either would be relaxed or he would come at me and he was relaxed. And that's when I threw it. And of course, my Dukin. I did it a little differently. It's a spinning hook kick. A lot of people have mistaken that for a spinning back kick. A spinning back kick, you hit with the bottom of your foot. A spinning hook kick is more of your heel. So when you throw that kick, the person has to be a little, you know, further away from you. But I measured my distance and I kept my leg tight. So it actually made it a lot stronger because my leg was like tight. You know, I, I knew the, the devastation of it. I got caught with that kick before. It sucks. <laughs> it was my heel and the, the knife edge of my feet. Foot hit him right underneath here. I felt it like right here. So on the jaw and a little bit more. And my foot actually hurt. I think I hit him so hard, my foot actually was fucking killing me. I'm known for throwing spinning techniques, and that's pretty much like my go-to move. <laughs> Hands are fast, but imagine having twice the amount of power and the speed with your legs. You can become a dangerous weapon.